What's up Home Slice, Lucas here. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to cork on a trampoline in a special way so that you can take that cork that you learn on the trampoline and do it on the ground within a matter of minutes. That's right, a double tutorial. Cork on the trampoline so that you can cork on the ground. But you gotta focus. Basically the cork is kind of like a back full, right? But you go kind of more horizontal. Now there's a few setups that we're gonna do differently here than in my back full tutorial on the trampoline. These few setups will help you learn the cork on the ground. When it comes to doing the cork, it's not even really jumping high or even kicking hard. Although you wanna do both, twisting is the most important part. So you wanna be sure you can twist fast enough. So the first thing we're gonna do on the trampoline is we're gonna work on the twisting motion. I want you to do a 360, okay? You turn the upper body and then follow with the lower body. So I turn and then I follow with the lower, see? Boom. Now we need to evolve on that. I want you to have your arms out like this. You're gonna turn, you're gonna wrap them in to your chest, close to your core. You will notice your spin gets a little faster, okay? You're bringing your body inwards. You're creating a faster spin. Mess around with this a few times. I want you to find that sweet point to where you can jump and spin extra fast. You wanna make it feel like your eyeballs are gonna be pulled out of your head. I know that sounds a little weird, but if you can spin that fast, think about it. You'll only need to be in the air for a split second before you come back around with the corkscrew because it's a spinning move. Try to open back up right when you're done with that 360. If you start just going like this, and doing like some 720s and crap, well, you're gonna train yourself to do more than one spin, and when you go to do the cork, you're gonna be like, ah! you're gonna fall or heck you might do a double cork <laughs> but most likely instead of a double cork you're gonna have double broken knees all right now we need to work on getting horizontal since since I spin towards my left I have my arms down at the side and I bring them towards the left shoulder okay so I go like this pivot and toss yourself over so so it's basically just pivot and then roll it out roll it out and do this with a few jumps. When you do the jumps, you don't really pivot, you just twist. Okay, so the arms. And you'll notice if you film yourself, which is a good idea so you can check your progression, that you'll be getting horizontal. Whoa, step back a sec. If you're too scared to jump into that from two feet, this is one you can actually get away with going off of your knees, watch. Go to my knees, when I jump to my knees, boom, boom. Guess what, you're almost there. The cork on the trampoline is, you're basically just gonna finish that half a turn. What? Yes. I'm landing this way. I need to land this way. So it's only one more half a turn. Remember the 360 feeling, remember this. You need to feel that when you go back horizontally. So, we're gonna work on that. A little bit more, take it slow. You can land on your side if you're on the trampoline, right? It's soft. And then take it more. Now once you start landing the cork off the bounce, we need to apply this motion. The motion we're gonna use to learn the cork on the ground is called the J step, okay? So because it forms a J on the ground. But what I want you to do is mimic the J step with two legs. So I bounce out, over, and then I attempt the cork that I just learned from standing still. So I go out, over J-step, cork. What I want you to focus on is the arms. So when I jump up to the first portion of the J-step, what I actually wanna do is put my arms out forward. Then when I jump to the second part, I need to put my arms back. So jump out, arms forward, arms back. That's the charge up, the wind up before the throw in the cork. We're doing this because on the ground, when we do the, the single leg J-step, when we step out with our first leg, which is my right leg, I put my arms out. Then when I go into the second one, I put them back. So you need to get used to this, train your mind. So we go, arms out, back, cork. Arms go out, then they go back. When you go into the cork, you shoot over the shoulder which you're spinning towards, okay? And you focus on twisting the body, bringing the lower body with it, doing the 360 with that horizontal motion that you learned from that first step, spotting the ground and land. Remember, don't do more than a 360. You should have trained your 360s right. Arms out, back. All right guys, it's time to learn this on the ground. 
First thing we're gonna do warm up on the ground is you wanna get used to the bounce. What I want you to do is do a few 360s. And you'll notice, uh-oh, ground's hard. What do you know? So what I want you to do is really work on tightening up that 360 so that you can spin fast on the ground. Bam. And remember, try to land just after the 360. Now the trampoline, the little like two foot J step thing we did, instead of doing that, for the cork on the ground, we're gonna do the one foot J step. Because I spin towards my left shoulder, that means my left foot is gonna be the foot I jump off of for the cork. And my right foot then is gonna be the kicking foot for the cork. Now, when I set up the cork, the first foot I'm gonna put out is going to be my right foot. Then I'm gonna take another big step with my left foot but this one is gonna be on a slight angle. Just like that J step where we did on two feet. We went over and then over and then did the court. But this time on the ground, you're gonna go one foot over, over, and then kick through and then cork. So just like on the trampoline, we're gonna do the same arm motion. That's why we practice it on the trampoline at first because it gets you in the habit. When we put our right foot out first, our arms are going out. Then when I cock it up with the left, to the side, I put my arms back. So that's, think of it like spring loading the system. So arms out with the first, arms back. Then when we kick through with my right leg, if you're going the same way I'm going, is when you bring your arms over to that opposite shoulder. The timing of the kick and the swing with the arms is what's gonna get you the height and the spin. Don't go like, don't do anything weird like that. You wanna have it all together, all to give you maximum lift. The only difference with doing it on the ground is you need to utilize this kick, right? This kick to give you bounce, I guess, or to give you lift. Kick towards that opposite shoulder and put your arms towards that opposite shoulder too. So, kick. Do that a few times. Arms out, back, kick. This is it, guys. We need to commit now. There is really no difference in feeling when you're in the air compared to the trampoline, compared to the ground. There's really no difference. The thing you need to realize is there's no bounce on the ground. Now, if you need some additional help, you can go back to the trampoline and you can choose to do uh, the cork on one foot on the trampoline. However, in my opinion, it's actually harder to do the one foot cork on the trampoline because the bounce is so weird and you can't really get that much height on one foot. Maybe some of you guys can. But if you get it down on the trampoline, you, when you take it to the ground once again, you're not gonna have the bounce, so you need to readjust. So do a few of those uh, fairy kicks timed with the arms to give you maximum lift and maximum spin. Let me know what you guys think if I should make this a, a new series from trampoline to the ground. So you learn a flip on the trampoline in a way in which you can take it to the ground easily. I can do tons of moves. I already did the backflip and now the cork. Um, so let me know if you want me to keep going with this. Hope this video helps you all out. Don't forget to subscribe. Upload Sunday through Thursday. Peace. You all have a good one. And I'll see you in the next video.